Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I mentioned yesterday about making our own uh, acrylic sprays and I got a whole lot of people saying, please show us how to do it. So I thought this is going to be a quick tip video and hopefully this will help you guys out, uh, you know, who are just starting out with painting or uh, mixed media, or maybe you just don't have a lot of money to spend and you know, it can get costly going out and spending money on a bunch of colors. So why not use the products you have at home? And believe me, this is just one way. There are a million ways. If you want me to do more ways, let me know down below. I have even, you know, I, I could probably sit here for an hour and show you different ways to make them. But today we're going to do the most easiest which is a lot of us have acrylic paint sitting around. You can get it at the dollar store. You can get it at your local craft store for, uh, gosh, their store brands could be 48 cents sometimes on sale. Um, and you, you get my drift. Okay. So I have a water bottle here, an empty sprayer. Now I've told you this before, go to your local dollar store and get body sprays, you know, that have like smells like vanilla, smells like raspberry, whatever, either use it up <laughs> or, I, what I used to do was I would take it and I swear you can go back and watch my other videos. If, you know, I didn't care what the scent was, I would take it home, I'd empty it out and I would rinse it real good with hot water and, you know, spray the nozzle to get the smell out. And then I would mix my sprays in it. And, um, this is a Stampendous sprayer. I got two of them. I got these at my local, uh, AC Moore, I believe. And I think they were like three or $4 a piece. I used a coupon. I'm very cheap. Um, but I mean, you could use, you know, anything, practically anything. Um, so look at things differently and say, Hey, you know what? I probably could use that for this, that, the other. Okay. Um, so here we're going to go. I have very hot water in here because I don't have a sink nearby. You want hot water, hot. And now you could use your pearl to get iridescent, or you could use just regular acrylic paint. This one, I'm going to use some uh, pearl. This is Martha Stewart's Splash. It is gorgeous. So I'm going to give it a little shake just to kind of mix it up. I like to go like this. That's fun to watch on the camera, isn't it? I just like to go like this to kind of swirl it up. I don't know. It makes me feel fancy. My hands are hurting really bad today. So excuse me. Um, they were hurting bad yesterday and I kept dropping everything. It was a mess. I'm trying, I'm trying, but my RA is like, girl, you need to go to bed, <laughs> but I'm not. Okay. So you can see, you know, I did that. No, I'm just going to give like two or three squirts, squirt, and then leave it go. Squirt, leave it go and squirt, leave it go. And that's about, you know, what that is for that. You want the hot water because you want it to you know, like incorporate it. Now, listen, if you have glass beads, like glass ball beads or um, uh, what are they called? BBs or whatever, anything that you can put in here to mix, to help it like start up every time you use it, use it. Glass beads, like a heavy glass bead. I don't know if I have any, I will look in a minute. So I'm just going to take this hot water and I'm going to pour it. I'm going to pour it about, I'll start about halfway. You do not want to fill it to the top and you will see why in a moment. So, all right, let me look. I have my bead things here. I don't warm. I feel so good on my hands. Let me see what I got. Let me see what I got. This is just sitting here because I've been doing some stuff. Hmm. I don't see no round, round balls anywhere. I mean, this is a glass bead you can use, you know, but you want something like that, that's glass, that isn't going to, um, you know, melt or anything, you know, plastic would probably work, but you want glass so it doesn't come off in like, you know, okay. So we got this. Oh, it looks pretty already. Oh, I'm going to shake it. Hear that? Hear that bead in there? Yeah. And you want to shake it. Now I started, like I said, halfway because I want to see the color. I'm going to show oh, that one feels so good on my hands. I can't even to turn it upside down to get that paint going and the warm water and the movement is going to help mix it in. Now, listen, you can use some glazing medium, which I have right here and love. This is my second one. I've went through because I'm using a lot. Um, you can use glazing medium. You can use, um, gosh, what's it called? I can't even think of it right now like a pearlescent additive and I'll do a video on that. If you want, just let me know. But like I said, I'm doing 
a pearlized, and, and the reason I'm doing pearlized is, you know, you don't want it so much to do glitter if it's too chunky. Because if you put it in here, what's going to happen is going to clog the sprayer, and then you're not getting anything out of it. All right, I've, I, I'm just shaking. All right, let me just spray this out because it's just water. I forgot to spray it out. Come on, bad boy. Okay, now, here we go. Do you see? Look at that. Now, I'm looking at that, and I'm like, you know what? And this is just a piece of printer paper that I have. I want it a little darker because I'm always like, the more is the better. So I'm going to give this another quick shake. Now, listen, you could have put less water in if you wanted. Do you know what I mean? Start maybe only if, if some people are very like, let me measure, you know, like teaspoon by teaspoon. You could do like that, too, according. You want about three, four times um, more than the water. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay. So it's really your preference. I mean, this is pretty on its own. Ugh, it's like a glimmer mist. That's kind of what we're making. And if I dry this, I shall show you. Yeah, that's pretty. I don't know if printer paper is going to be the best for this. The best for this. You could spray this on. Um, I'm going to try to find some paper. You could spray this on cardstock. On um, that is pretty though. Cardstock, ACT, ATC cards. I mean, we're going all over, you know. Okay, I'm spraying. You see that glass in there? Okay. You can use even and look at that of course you know you don't spray but I mean you can see how nice that is it's a glimmer mist dupe look at that oh that's nice oh my goodness look at that look at that shine look at that right there oh, I'm gonna blow this dry right now I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to do the regular. I'll just do it in there to show you. Now, of course, this is like a glimmer mist. You're going to get that shiny deliciousness. Oh, that's gorgeous. I can't even stand it. Oh, my goodness. I hope you guys can see. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like I'm putting highlighter on the face. Oh my goodness. I wanted this to be a five minute video. Come on, Kel. Look at this. Look at that. It's blinding. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now listen, I have these, me, uh, I forget what they're called. They're misters or some, something like that. Uh, so you can always mix in here a little bit and then pour it in here. I mean, you can do whatever you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to pour some of this water out. I don't want this much in here. All right. And I kept it about a little bit less, a little bit more than a quarter. And I'm going to take some of this, which is called aqua. And I'm going to shake it. Why is, what is blocking here? I don't know. All right, and then I'm just going to squeeze some of it in. Ploops, one, two, three, or four, doesn't matter. Put your lid on. Oh, let's get a glass bead. Let's get a glass bead, because that worked really good. Really, really good. Um, now I'm being picky. I'm like, what glass bead do I want to use? Okay, putting the glass bead in. Got the lid on. Oh, I can hear it already. And I'm going to shake it. Listen to that. It's getting all that product. So as this sits here overnight, right, um, you know, it's going to go to the bottom a little bit. No big deal. All right, I'm going to leave that sit for a second. I'm just going to show you this one more time. This is everything. Look at that. All right, look at that. It's dry. Oh, love it. Look at this. Look at that shine. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to just give it another. I'm going to spray the water out. There you go. Oh, watch this. 
Now it's spraying like that because I have to obviously clean this a little bit because, but you could see the color, right? I have, to, I probably needed to clean this out a little bit better, but it's still going to be good. Let's try this. All right, it's just going to suck, but I'll show you what happens if that happens. But look, look at that color, okay? Look at the color. Now, what I was just saying was, let's say you have a crappy bottle, which you can see it came out fine. I mean, it's a little, you know, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to empty the water out of it. I'm going to square it. You want to do this first. Just squirt it out just so, you know. Now let's take this. Let's say, oh, I got a new bottle. So I'm going to take this. I mean, look how pretty. And I'm going to pour this in here. These fill up fast. Just leave enough at the top so it doesn't, uh, like, so you can shake it each time. I'm not going to put a little bead in there, but you can. You definitely can put a couple like seed beads or something in, in here to get it going. And then put it here. Look at that mist. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm making a background. I'm going to press that off. So much fun. And you see, you can get... Look at that beautiful background. Sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's because I use dilutions on here and it's not permanent. Now, because this is acrylic paint and acrylic paint is permanent, these sprays become permanent. Let's see what else we got. Boop. Look at that. Look at this beautiful background I've started already. So you see. Now, let's spray it on here. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. Beautiful. So, I mean, you see, very simple. We used the pearl. We used the regular in just folk art acrylic paint. Again, use whatever color you want. We have gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this. Sprays. You can't go wrong. So, leave me a thumbs up. If you enjoy my videos, I'd appreciate it if you share me around. And I hope this helps you guys. And if you want any other um, you know, information or videos, you know, on making different colors, doing different things, just let me know down below, or you can find me all over the internet. All my social media is down below as well. And if you're interested in buying any, uh, art or craft product, uh, like the Ranger Distress Oxides or even plastic bottles, paints, acrylic paints, uh, knitting, crocheting, quilting, stencils, stamps, ink pads, paintbrushes, pencils, blah, 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 blah. Blitzy is fantastic. My Blitzy link is down below. Click it. Go check everything out there. And if you see anything that you like, please use my link. I'd appreciate it. But if you don't want to use my link, because some people don't like to do that, then just go check out Blitzy by yourself because it is fantastic and you get great, great deals. I love it. They change their shipping. You get it in two days. I love it. So, that is it. I love you guys so much. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. Progress, not perfection. And let's keep playing. Don't worry if you don't have a lot of money. We are going to rock this out and get you some good things uh, to play with at home where you don't have to spend a fortune. And keep your eyes out for um, some giveaways coming up. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.